Hey, hey, it's Michael. Welcome to this brand new video training. And this time I am going to show you how to create dashboards, how to organize it, your dashboards and why they are so important. So let's actually start from, from the question, why the dashboards are so important and why, in my opinion, they are the biggest underdog in Jira, because basically this is like a cockpit of, you, of, of, the, of the airplane. Yes. So if you are a scrum master, if you're manager or business analyst, and you would you don't want to jump between pro from project to projects yes you need to configure the dashboards because they can give you a big picture what is happening across project or projects and this is one of the best way how to also utilize your own report so yes and and then of course you can share them i will show you how to share the dashboards because like this is also so 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 important yep Plus, I'm going to show you how to create dashboards from the JQL query. If you never use JQL, JQL query, that's fine because I'm going to post in the description the the, the um, link to my two videos, which I which, when when I when I talk about filters and queries. So it's very good. It will be very good actually if you know how to use filters, how to utilize filters, how to create the how to create the jql because we will be using them in this video training a lot a lot a lot yeah and by the way everything what i talk to you about right now is in my training course more information about this you're gonna find in the description all right so let's get do it and by the way i will be using jira free version uh jira cloud however if using server or <laughs> since still some people use server or the data center it is still going to be okay, it's still going to be fine. There is a very similar steps. However, because the interface is a little bit different, it, it is not exactly the same. But I'm, you know, I'm sure you're going to find out how to do it. If not, leave a comment. And please leave a comment. Yeah, if you've got any questions, let me know. I, I love to answer all your questions. All right, let's get do it. All right, I set my timer because believe me, it's very hard to squeeze in all this information so like less than 15 minutes because it's just so much stuff in the and and especially that breath are so interesting i i got but i'm gonna try i'm gonna try right so let's start from the first very important information is what the dashboards and what they are yeah so in jira cloud they used to be in a little bit different way they used to be like first uh but now uh the the like the start screen however we call it is your work so you're going to find them of course under the dashboards and what it what is very important to know that you can create multiple dashboards and you should yeah you're not supposed to have like one of course you know that if you've got one one or two or three projects doesn't really matter too much but i'm talking about a little bit more busier environment here yeah, when when it's more data so you should have always in my opinion more than one dashboard why because it's going to be very difficult to combine all this information together and how to do it you're going to find out unfortunately here it's it's a little bit try and error yeah so obviously we need to navigate to dashboards and we will uh, you can actually see them over here but we will start straight away from create dashboards and by the way by the way yes there is a case when you won't be able to see this option and i've had a conversation with a student last week about this and i can tell you why the problem is if you could if you couldn't if you cannot you can, cannot create a dashboard it means that the administrator disabled that functionality so that's why i still highly encourage you to get your very own free hosting yeah uh the jira cloud so if you can do it mm, it's a it's 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 an issue definitely uh, but still you know still keep watching because you can get your very own Jira version and do it yourself right so let's start from really obvious thing which is the naming and here i can't stress this enough you know don't call this like this just put some decent name especially when you are planning to you to, to share the dashboard across your team yes yeah? so i'm going to call it my demo dashboard which is whatever name is not ideal but i will know you know, okay i've been just doing this for a demonstration and next one goes straight away to as i told you about the sharing why this is so important because uh like from my experience if there is a team let's say 10 or maybe uh 15 people you know it's good it's very 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 good to share this dashboard across your 
team. And on top of it, and on top of it, you can also share like editor yeah so simple simple viewers of course someone who's viewing and editors if you're gonna give someone access to change it and i'm gonna give you this is actually like a little bit i would say um kind of problematic i'm gonna show you how to do it yeah so we go for a private if so part of the project and because i use actually um, a free version so i cannot decide about the roles because i don't have any roles free version does not include roles but normally, normally I will use projects. However, you can use groups or you can use all organizations. Be, 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 be careful with that, you know? So that's why I'm always advising go for projects. Well, it doesn't mean projects. If there is a team, as I told you, and that team got something like, I don't know, maybe 20, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50 projects, um, they are part of that project. Yeah, they gonna see, they will be able to see this later, yeah? Okay, so that tricky bit is very often People actually are spending time on this, yeah, and then just like thinking, okay, that's cool, I'm gonna save it. No, that's not gonna work. Please do not forget to add it, yeah. That's how it works. And of course, now it could be for multiple projects. So we can decide like this, you know, or I think could be even a group like this. So we've got this three levels. And of course, you know, the same stuff is gonna happen for editors. Right, so let's move on. When we're gonna save, now is the moment when we start adding, as we call gadgets, yeah. So really important stuff, and believe me, <laughs> uh, you're gonna probably go cra a bit crazy with this. Why? Because I, I remember the first time when I was adding, especially if you're new to dashboards, if you've been uh, well, trying to just like you know have some fun with this, absolutely go for like even not everything. But from from a, from a practical point of view, if it's gonna be like more than like, I would say like this four in a row, so like total eight or, or seven. It is probably the max. However, if that works for you, fine. But for me, if it's more than four, three, four gadgets in a, in a row, it's not going to work. And obviously, you can actually change the layout because I've got a massive screen. So very often, I'll go for this, uh, not the split screen, like three three columns. Yeah. But for this presentation, let's leave two. And now let's actually start adding. So now the fun began. Right, so I will go for like my favorite, yeah. So my favorite is gonna go first. So because my favorite is actually favorite, but they I think they rename it so like start now. Star star. Yeah, there you go. So start why this is I'm gonna just explain in a second, yeah. So star is one of the most important. Obviously, I would like to maybe see the activities, which by the way, you can move them on the right hand side. There you go. Uh, but they're not like super, super important. And we can go now to my second most favorite is the filter result, which I'm going to leave it here. We're going to come back to that in a second when we start actually filling this up. And I also would like to add the pie chart. Yeah? So let's actually move them maybe on the right hand side. So now let's actually configure them. So what is going on? As I told you, we'll be using a lot of this time a JQL. So I've created this JQL uh, filter. By the way, you're going to find them on the under filters. And it was actually really simple, so like adding just a few projects. So not really sophisticated JQL, just I want to show you because I need a lot of data. So what you can do, you can actually copy, uh, so not the JQL, but you need to copy the name of the filter. So obviously this is not about the filters, but however, how to do it, you basically go into the filters. That doesn't need to be actually JQL. You can use the simplified version. Uh, but what is important, you have to save it because when you save it and go back to the dashboard, as you can see, the filter result will ask you what is the name. Yeah. So this one's a little bit pointless to do because I've got 72, so probably not going to use it or I like modify it. So it's like I, if I, I'm looking for um, a ticket assigned to myself, yeah, but just to just to just to show you, you know how to use it, I will use it anyway. So let's also update every 15 minutes. And there you go. So now we've got basically this grid from here, yeah, because it is a filter. Pie chart again. Now because actually pie chart, and it's good <laughs> because I would like to use uh, same same query just to show you. So select from the list, 
update every 15 minutes. And over here, you know, again, you can actually use whatever parameter you want. And why this is actually so, so, so cool, because I'm not sure if you watch my older uh, videos, the building reports are great, but one of the biggest problem with them is without saving the link, direct link to the report, they, not, they cannot save your parameters, like for instance, this static type, and they always reset to the default one, which I believe it's assigned, yeah? But this time we go for, let's say, issue type, yeah? And look at this again, I'm gonna update everything. This one's gonna be massive, <laughs> but how cool is this? And again, as I told you before, my start filters, yeah? My start filters. So this is probably more important to me. Uh, I'm just gonna explain you why. Come on, <laughs> let me do it. Oh my God. Yeah, let me do it. All right. So why this is actually so important? Because at the moment on this list, as you can see, I've got everything from, well, yes, everything from basically this list. So this is all my favorite filters that they, they, they called start. And why this is more important even to the pie chart? Because I am, when I'm organizing my work, I'm always gonna create a specific for my work filters. And now, for instance, I want to know like all stories. So, so do you remember when I told you the, the name? The name is terrible because it's actually saying all story, but like what story? Missing the project name. So like, for instance, SSB, I know straight away this is the SSB because it's the name of my project. It's a sample data, something Kanban or whatever. So let's gonna see if I'm gonna like click on the first one, of course, not gonna click the left, but go to the new tab. It is gonna point me straight away to the filter, yeah. So we can actually switch to the and to the to the advance, and I know the create day is within that 130 days, which probably should be like 13, but because not enough data, <laughs> I've created this. But anyway, you know how to utilize them. And again, have some fun with the gadgets. Have a look at them. What you want? What you really need to do? Because I'm not going to upgrade permission. I'm looking for every single one. Yeah. And well, maybe yeah, maybe what what else we can do? Like a time uh, time since chart. I think this is actually a new one, so I uh, I don't know that. But for instance, burn down, burn down. You know, if you if you're, especially for Scrum Master, so you need. Uh, I am not sure if I have if we go to projects, SSB. Do we have any uh, active sprints for days? Oh, actually that should work. So it's SSB. So let's see. If we go for SSB, show sprint, it should show something, yeah? Well, there we go, <laughs> it works fine. Also, if I would like to see, um, let's say, oh, there was actually something about the days. I've seen this, I've seen this, I'm 100% sure I have seen this. Uh, so let's, let's maybe sprint. Oh yeah, there you go. That's the one. So again, I'm gonna go for SSB. P or B, actually it's a board name, there you go. And I know, oh yeah, there is a four more days. So this is actually not that super important to me. So maybe I'm gonna just put it underneath. So now now you know how to organize it. So I can I go maybe this one on top of it. It's it's little, little tricky, I have to say, move them. Uh, but you know, not impossible. What else? You know, it's like really cool stuff. You can change the color of that right of that ribbon, yeah, right ribbon, yeah. But there is something what I have to show you again. So when, of course, when you complete it, you can hit done. And you know, don't be afraid to spend literally well, like days, but like hours playing with the with the with the with the dashboards because it's very 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 important. But to start actually utilizing them, I will highly advise you to spend more time with filters, create the filters, create the JQL. Why? Because now I'm going to show you there's another way how to create, so I'm going to close this, how to create your very own gadget based on your filter, filter, filter results. Yeah. So we're approaching that 15 minutes mark. I'm going to try to hurry up. All right, so how to do it? Well, obviously you need to uh, put a filter. You need to create a filter. So in my case, let's have, let's analyze this. What we've got here, we've got project, which actually you've got some uh, three projects included. Yeah, And I also, well, 
I'm not going to add anything else. You can, obviously, it's just it's just a demo. Like for instance, you can just say when the assign is you or the current user, or you just want to filter only tasks or something like create more sophisticated when the create date is, for instance, within five days or or the beginning of the week. Something you know more cooler. But because I don't have enough <laughs> data, it doesn't really matter because it's a demo. So you can you can put whatever you can create whatever filters you want. And now how to very very quickly convert into gadget so the answer to that is of course you have to go into this advanced mode so we go to advanced issue search like i am here yep and now when the jql or the basic it doesn't really matter is completed you will go to export there you go and you create cre you're gonna hit create dashboard gadgets so really cool you know and and it's like kind of hidden <laughs> So let's see. And now from here, oh, there you go. You can look, you can have a maybe results, maybe a heat map if you want, maybe a pie chart, yeah. And the pie chart again could be, which is which is a little bit pointless because we already have got this pie, we've got this, this pie chart already there. However, let's actually explore time, time to finish. This is actually service desk, workload. Workload is gonna be zero, but even, even average chart even something like this, yeah? Let's save this, and we go for our demo. We have to save them, so average chart, and let's save. And voila, it is there. Very, very, very cool thing. So, that's gonna be it for us for this time. However, you're gonna find a more information about the JQL, as I told you, in the description. And very, very, very soon, which you're gonna find the link right there, you're gonna also find a new tutorial when I'm gonna talk about screens and custom fields. So for now, thank you so much, and I hope to see you into the, in the next video.